My name's Michael Murphy. I started beyond the barbell just to have a space where men can come, feel comfortable, have a workout, and just talk about their mental health and have support from like-minded men and help them be vulnerable about their mental health and if they're feeling down. Six men die from suicide each day, so 42 a week. The number 42, you know, 42 men losing their life to suicide each week is just a number that we need to fix. We had this crazy idea that 42 workouts would be a good representation to show support for, for men suffering uh, mental illness. It really cottoned on to me the number, like the 42. So I was like, wow, 42 so many workouts. That's actually how many men pass. It just means everything. I was one of the first YouTubers that Murph got on to speak about mental health. So I battled with mental health quite aggressively for the last three years and I had some some really low points in my life. Personally, this means a lot to me, doing this sort of stuff. Just raising awareness about it, because it's definitely not spoken about enough. I've been treating now for like over 10 years, and everyone who comes in like are usually very high functioning. The people that you think have it completely together and, and nobody else would know. I've had anxiety myself, and then a few of my family members, and then heaps of my favorite people. So I just think, it's more common than people think. Everyone has mental health and so no one's immune so we all have to look after each other. I've suffered from anxiety from high school, really didn't know where I fit in in the world and what my place was. Was able to manage it fairly well uh, and then this year it's kind of stuck its ugly head up again and I've really struggled. So yeah, mental health is something that I've had to deal with personally and then I've got family members as well who've been dealing with it for a while. I've had mental health problems for 15, 16 years. I've contemplated suicide before and it was at the gym, it was working out, it was the mates that I had had there that kind of led me to, you know, trying to push through and, and trying to get better and work on my mental illness. Um, just having the support there of the guys. The gym for me is a great outlet mental health wise. Uh, physically you can throw heavy stuff around and then mentally you're with a, a group of friends. Some people like to meditate, and to me it's kind of like meditation. It's a place you can go and you can't think about other stuff. It's a good way of, yeah, just being in the moment. Especially with anxiety sometimes, it's really hard to just stop and not think. It's just a time for yourself, really. When you're doing a workout, especially one of these sort of workouts, it's, you're not really thinking about much else except how you're going to survive and get through the workout. It's just a good way to clear the mind, get your endorphins going, make you feel good. Started to go to gym, try to get big, and figured out that I was always happy when I was in the gym. And from there, it just a passion came for it. So uh, my whole life kind of been in the fitness industry, but the gym has always been my happy place. Trying to encourage guys to have that conversation with their mates. Are you okay? And, and not just accepting everything's fine or yep, yeah, I'm good. Uh, actually digging deeper and, and finding out, you know, if they're really okay and, and if you can support them in any way. Don't try to battle it by yourself. If you've got concerns, there's, there's professionals, but you've got mates as well, just reach out to them. Um, it's always better to have that open conversation than try to internalize everything. I know my mates and I have decided we'll just call each other up and say, I really need to talk. Uh, I'm suffering at the moment, can we catch up? And if someone reaches out to you, active listening, just be there, create a safe space, let them talk. You don't know like what the person next to you is going through. And so sometimes even you, like opening up and talking about your struggles will help somebody else as well. Go to your GP is your first point of call. It is a weight off your shoulders to be able to talk to someone about your mental, mental health. And if you're not comfortable with a GP, find a friend that you trust, you know, your partner, and just say, you, know, you don't have to say I've got depression, but just say, you know, I'm, I'm struggling with work at the moment. Um, it's just those little things that make a big difference. Definitely start telling your loved ones. is It's probably the hardest thing to do, but once they, once they know and uh, they can start helping with it, 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 it's definitely quite a load off like your shoulders. Get to your GP, make a plan, try and get better. Don't suffer really, because it kills you. It just breaks my heart to think that there's guys out there that, that kind of think that their only option is to, to end their life. 42, 42, it's, it's not only about raising money for the Movember Foundation, which does great work in this space, but it's, it's about raising awareness to let people know that you know, guys struggle. They don't want to talk about it and they just bottle it up. If people go home to just ask their brother, their dad, their friends, how you doing? What's going on? You know, how are you feeling? Like, you know, I feel like we've really made a difference.